all right so i got a question um, regarding some specific phd project and and the university that um, offering the phd uh, project regarding that so the first question is and the university involved is uh, technical southeast technical technological university s e t u and technological university of shannon t u s so um, and the question is uh, that these two university are new and whether uh, if somebody uh, uh, finish PhD from particularly this newly constructed university whether there will be any problem to get PR and job my short answer is no first of all all the university and institutes in Ireland uh, whose which are offering PhD level studies PhD level degrees are uh, public funded and so called government university and uh, there it has nothing to do with getting a pr or job at all so and uh, uh, it doesn't matter where you do your phd or masters uh, has nothing to do with getting a pr and uh, your probability or possibility of getting job absolutely doesn't matter it's uh, especially PR a job might be an issue but I will still say no no problem at all uh, so getting a PR is a completely different thing it has nothing to do with your PhD to be honest I did PhD in Ireland and and I recently got a PR um, getting a PR has nothing to know uh, nothing to do with your your PhD all you have to do is uh, you have to um, work in Ireland uh, above uh, yearly salary of at the moment earlier it was 32,000 euro per year now it has been increased to 39,000 euro per year and then boom you get uh, after two years they will give you a PR that's the present sort of uh, rule has nothing to do on uh, your PhD and where you have done your PhD and getting a job in Ireland after finishing your PhD or master's is completely depends on you your skills and uh, and the company you are a company or the institution or organization you are applying uh, what they need if they think that you have those skills then definitely they will uh, take uh, or hire you has nothing to do where you have done your PhD to be honest so so the first question I hope uh, you have got your answer number two is that um, uh, that uh, uh, is that the funding attached to that particular PhD position uh, she did not um, she doesn't like that so as an international student so the thing is uh, let me explain this thing I saw the uh, I'll give the uh, PhD advertisement from which she is asking this question uh, I'll give the link of that particular post PhD position and uh, in the uh, in the description of this video and so that you will understand what uh, I'm going to discuss so that in terms of PhD and funding everything good in terms of skills everything is okay now I see that the funding notes is that it's a four year duration that's cool uh, that's um, the usual duration of PhD in Ireland now stipend is yearly 18,500 per year 18,500 euro per year this is the PhD amount I used to get from 2018 to 2022 four years and I know few of the uh, funding uh, agency has increased from this 18,000 to 23,000 uh, euro per year but so far i understand that this particular phd position is uh, and the funding is offered from the university itself okay so in ireland there are like science foundation ireland iris research council and some other uh, organization funding organization they uh, they're all government and they offer uh, some scholar uh, some uh, phd uh, scholarships 
their amount has been increased uh, so far i know at the moment but if the funding is offered directly from the university budget then uh, i have heard from other phd students also that their um, their yearly scholarship or monthly scholarship has not been increased at all okay so this is uh, 18500 euro per annum and there is a phd fees which is 5750 euro per annum okay and there is a research costs 2000 euro per annum so i do not understand the research costs 2000 euro per annum uh, what does this research cost meaning whether it is uh, will be given to the uh, phd scholar or it will be taken from the phd scholar so i strongly encourage whoever is applying to this particular phd they should ask there is an uh, email address so they should uh, and contact a person email who is offering the professor who is offering the phd position they must uh, they must uh, well i i strongly encourage uh, whoever is eligible they should apply but uh, after the interview or before the interview they should clarify all these things number one you should clarify that the fees of 5750 per annum is that amount you yourself has to, has to pay from the stipend you are getting if that is the case then this particular uh, phd funding is uh, not sufficient for you uh, to live in ireland with a, with 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 uh, a family but if you are single it could be okay it could be just okay at the moment i would say so if i subtract 18000 500 minus 575 so it's like 13 something kind of still just just it will be just okay but it will be difficult to uh, difficult to uh, stay with that amount of money so you so you have to clarify that whether this 5750 per annum fees attached to that particular phd position will be deducted from your scholarship which is 18500 per annum if this is the case then it is uh, it is okay for a single person but for a family person who, for a family i mean for a phd student who in who uh, wants to bring their family Uh, then this amount is absolutely impossible to uh, uh, stay with the family even if you do not have a baby uh, for two person is uh, the the 13000 uh, is impossible to leave any place in ireland at the moment and also i do not understand what the research costs means so you have to clarify what does this mean what is this 2000 euro thing okay so um so so uh all right so uh, so she is asking whether uh, okay so and uh, no actually um, how things work so for example this particular phd project if you apply as per as the uh, as per as they uh, they have given you email address whatever the documents they want you just apply then if they shortlist you for the interview then uh, there will be an online interview and after the online interview if they if they finally hire you then uh, then you do not have to apply for um, uh, separate funding uh, if you are the final candidate of uh, uh, they hire then uh, the automatically they will give you uh, a offer letter where it will be clearly written that you are uh, you will be given um, 18500 euro per year scholarship and so on but all i want you to confirm that the fees 5750 euro whether you have to you yourself will be responsible to pay uh, from your yearly funding which is 8, 18500 euro why i am asking because 
let's say as i told that i was also uh, in the same amount of uh, a phd scholarship yearly phd scholarship for the four years from 2018 october to 2022 september but i had also uh, a, a i did phd in ucd university college dublin and there the phd uh, fees was 13000 uh, something so let's say 13000 but for me this 13000 euro was also paid by the science foundation ireland i i was getting a scholarship of 18500 euro per year from science foundation ireland as well as my fees for the phd was also paid by science foundation ireland so in so in other words i did not have to pay anything but from this advertisement what i case that you are responsible for paying this fees so you have to confirm them uh, uh, confirm this fact by emailing to the professor or there are some uh, email address so hope uh, this is um, okay i will give the link of the phd scholarship i just uh, phd advertisement i just talked and uh, below this uh, description of this video thank you so much